I got a, I, I got another a new one here. We beat yeah. a new level. Oh my god! All right, well we're back. Oh, well we're back. <laughs> I accidentally um, hit the button, and you're like, oh, another level. Yeah, we're we're playing D and D while also playing Wizards of the Coast's uh, new Cookie Clicker Idol Champions. Uh, so it's D and Deception, uh, and it's a great thing. Dynamo. I'm slaughtering things yeah. from a hell portal right now. Oh god, there's sound. This game has sound. Yeah, I had to, I haven't Shit. It. Well the stream's gonna be picking up the sound. Uh, uh, we, don't, we don't need we don't need the metronome, bro. Eight. Oh, it's battle music. Yeah, I hate a Where's the options? Escape. Steady. Oh my god, it's so loud. I can't make it go away. What have I done? I'm gonna be alright. Ah! Ah! I'm just gonna have to close it. I have to close it. It won't close! Okay. There's like all this battle music going on and I couldn't. Okay. Epic battle music. Yeah. Alright. So, alright. Uh, yeah. So, here. you guys. Uh, burr, 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 burr. Where is it? Turn on the protean fields. You guys are in Damien's. Tower. Damien's Tower. Damien's Tower. And? And, uh, yeah, just open the door and walk in. Okay. Uh, the door is locked. Uh, I rap on it. I give it a okay. rap. Give me a perception check. You do not hear anything. Hmm. Uh. Let me give a little shout. Hey, Damien. 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 Knock on it again. No response. Uh, you don't even hear like anything. Think he's out doing something? Maybe. You wanna come back later? I guess. Where else where else are we gonna go? Uh well, we used a whole bunch of potions. We could go buy some more health potions. Mm. You wanna see if anybody has some dwarven armor in town? Big city. He shrugs. Sure. Let's go out. And, let's go walk around. Go I think out I got anything else to do, so. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's step away so you, and. Yeah, so it's. You, know, you exit without any issue and find yourself in the massive city. Mm -hmm. uh, exit the. The gated. Uh, nicely groomed area around the tower and. Mm hmm. To what? Uh, we're gonna go back to what was it like, Miriam's Potion Emporium or something like that? What's the name of the? Uh, I'll I'll have to the place it. Like my Witchwell City Vendors thing tab. This thing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of different um magic shops and whatever so you are looking for an alchemist or what are you looking for yeah an alchemist okay um if you want to find the one that you went to last time you could probably do that or are you looking for a different one uh no we'll go to that one no. Okay. For now. Yeah. So nice. hers was. Uh, this place was called Mimsy's. Mimsy's. That's what it was. Yes. So it was. Uh, and you enter. Uh, she is currently with. Uh, <clears throat> there's actually a, quite a line of people. In here 
Uh, seems like everyone is antsy to have a potion in these times. Right. Okay. Uh, so you're going to just wait around for a while? Um, wait, wait in line, or are you going to go to a different place? Yeah, we'll just kind of like look around, see what she's got out on the shelves. Or does she not yeah, have Yeah, I don't... Uh, everything is definitely like behind that she's selling, because these things mm -hmm. are worth a fortune. Mm -hmm. Some of them. Um, so they're like... It's under a glass case of different potions with like names on them specifically, the yep. ones that she wants to show. And she may have stuff that's not being shown. You'd have to ask. Okay. Uh, but everything that would be like perusable in the shop um, that is not behind the counter is going to be <clears throat> more like your typical CVS household remedy stuff. Yeah. You know, like, oh, here's a, a poultice for, you know, like headaches or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, rub the snake oil on your forehead. <laughs> yeah, <and> <laughs> yeah, this, this bugbear piss on your palms. And, uh... Yep. Yeah. Some socks that have onions in them to, you know, pull the toxins out of your body while you sleep. You wear these oh, socks boy. that I put onions in and uh, pulls the toxins out of your body, or your feet. Uh-huh. Pretty Something sure that's like actually that. a thing, by the way. What do you mean? <laughs> like, there's like something with like rubbing onions on your feet before you go to bed or something like oh, that. Oh! Where you like yeah. pulls the toxins out of your body while you sleep. Oh man, holistic medicine. It's the best. Um. <laughs> yeah, so, I just, uh, kind of look at the things. Yeah. Um, Okay. She has a few potions that are like behind glass if you want to like read the names. Yeah. Otherwise, you just wait. Yeah. Yep. So Which I... of those two things? Read the names. Okay. And wait. Um, so she wow. has a potion of invulnerability, uh, a potion of vitality. And then Mimsy receives the transmission. <laughs> uh, and a potion of psychic damage resistance. Curious. Um, And, God, what was the last one? Where is it? Oh, it's, uh, she has another filter of love. <laughs> <clears throat> On top of, um, well, she's selling health potions to a gentleman in front of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... And you get up to her eventually. Mm -hmm. The next guy doesn't buy anything. She didn't have what he was looking for. Um, then the next one came up, bought a like the weakest healing potion he could. Probably spent like most of his life savings. Well, you know, the times are coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> if you could have a healing potion in real life, yep. it would be something that you would invest a lot of money in because it's like i'm gonna die i'm yeah. gonna drink this now yeah and it's something you would want if you could afford it right definitely um but they are expensive uh so you guys make it up to her and she said oh where's your hairy friend how'd his uh, how'd his little Love debacle go down. Hmm. Uh, well, I don't think it went the way he expected it to. She but it was rather comical to watch. <laughs> well. Anyway, what can I do for you? Hmm. Interest you in one of my potions, perhaps? Uh, well, that's why we came here. Um. I have, have a you... number of 
incredible potions in such traumatic times. Right. What have you got um, <clears throat> in the way of... Uh, just like healing potions again. We're, we're, um, we might have used them all up already. No. I, how do I say? I have procured a few extra that I most certainly didn't have time to make uh, on my own. And, uh, well... They've been going, as they say, like hotcakes, so uh, it's a seller's market. What are you looking for? Mm. You got some more of those uh, superiors that uh, hanging out? Did you already drink them? Uh, yeah, we already went through them all. You are a busy man. Thirsty. Thirsty. Very yeah. thirsty. Huh. They taste great. <laughs> she give gives you a look either. up and down. Kind of bites her lip. Ah. For a hunk like you, I got something I've been keeping for myself. She hobbles back for a moment. You hear clinking some keys, opening something up. She slams it and comes back. And there's like, a, it's kind of a large thing. It's like this big. Uh -huh. um, and it's... It's quite large at the bottom, circular, and then kind of like narrows up at the top. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like a, a bubbling red liquid inside a, a red tinted uh, glass. I don't, I guess it's a like primitive glass or whatever. Um, foggy glass, right? They didn't, they sure. couldn't like get the impurities out or whatever. Sure. Um, this is the most magnificent form of healing potion that mankind has ever seen. I call it a supreme healing potion. Quite oh, proud of it. Creative. Creative name? Yes. Thank you. Uh, this will... If you thought the superiors packed a punch, just wait till you try this one. Right. Mm. And what is the going price for such a supreme potion? Well, considering the times and the potency and the rarity of such a potion, I couldn't part with it for anything less than 500 gold. These are not times to be stingy. All right. Do you have any uh, superiors left? I, in fact, just sold them to the man in front of you. Two of them. Uh, for twice the price. Ugh. And I'm giving you shiver, a deal. A shiver runs um, down my spine as I think about paying that price. Yeah. Probably some rich noble guy. Um, actually, you know he was. His clothes were fine. And, uh... Hey, I'm wearing... No, I'm just wearing traveler's clothes. Oh, the price... This 500 gold price, I could easily... Easily get more for. Mm -hmm. I haven't even tried to sell this one. Uh, saving it for a rainy day, but... Yeah, seems like you're out doing God's work, so... 500 gold and I'll I'll call it yours. Hmm. Maybe you could give me a discount if you had something else uh, that I was willing to buy. Hmm. Hmm. Well, do you see something else you're interested in? We could maybe do a bulk discount. Well, I was looking at this uh Potion of invulnerability that you've got over there in that case. I'm thinking uh, my friend Desmond here might 
have use for it. And a mm. nudge with my elbow. Uh, how, how much does something like that you, go for? Yes. Uh, are you flush with gold? These are expensive potions. Just curious, looking. Potion of invulnerability. That is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, takes a tremendous amount of time, very rare resources to make such a thing. I could not sell it for any less than 3,000 gold. Mm. Okay, okay. And uh, what about the one next to it? Uh, resist Psychic. A yeah. niche potion, to be sure. Yes. I encountered it oh, maybe 20 years ago. Um, my The man who, who trained me in my craft, well, when he died, he left a number of his own custom works and gifted them to his students. Uh, one of these things he gifted to me was this curiosity of a potion. Never been able to find a buyer for it. Uh, there aren't many people in the market for psychic resistance. She shrugs. Given how niche it is, though I suppose in the right hands it could be considerably useful, um, I would be willing to sell such a thing for a reasonable price, I think. Are you interested in such a thing? Mm. Maybe. Might, uh... Mm. With the uh, change in the skies and uh, uh, kind of hold my, like, kind of hold my hammer in my hands for a second. I don't know if you've ever heard of like a mind flare, but uh, I might. Yeah, I, I, I'm. I'm interested kind of mumble into myself but yeah yes i'm interested she doesn't seem to know what you're talking about she's definitely like disturbed by like those two things combined into one a mind flare yeah she's like no i can't say i've heard of it uh so if you were to buy this potion of psychic damage resistance Alongside uh, my sup what sup what was it? What was supreme, supreme. Was this supreme. Ah, psychic damage resistance alongside my supreme healing potion. Hmm. Tell you what. I will take a hundred gold off of it if you buy both. Seven hundred for the two of them. Hmm. Hmm. Meh. Nah. I like it, Desmond. Like, what did you have for potions left? You didn't need to use anything the other day, did you? No, he didn't need any. He didn't, he didn't have any. That's uh, why he didn't use any. Oh, uh, I thought he had some before. He, like, wipes some blood off his face. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't have any potions, bitch. Oh. Yeah. Mm, Almost that. fucking died. Yeah, you see? That's what happens when you get stingy. Yes. All that gold, Desmond, and you're not willing to spend it, huh? Well, uh, excuse me. <laughs> if I recall correctly, I spent it all on you and fucking uh, hairy man ass. I need to get rid of all these fucking horses, by the way. <laughs> yes, you do. Uh, 
Yeah, you know what? Mimsy will, uh... I actually need to see how much Desmond has. Well, All of his wealth, uh, I have on his horse's character sheets. Um... Uh -huh. uh... Oh, he does have some money. I thought he had way less than this. Hmm. Alright. Um... Is that it? You don't got any other potions? Ah, uh, no, that's not what I said. I have weaker potions. Ah, uh, I have uh, I have two very diluted regular healing potions left. That's not fucking useful. Well, I suppose it is useful if you're you're dying and I've got to force feed it to you, but that's about it. You know what? I will take one of those just in case. Cause uh he there's like if this was a TV show we'd have a flashback <laughs> yeah. of fucking flowers dying in Vahari's hands as like they try and do a medicine check and he's like No <laughs> <sighs> Yeah. That might be good. Alright. Uh regular potion it's gonna run ya fifty gold. Alright, I'll subtract that from Desmond. Uh, yeah, you know what? And add regular healing potion. We'll probably need them where we're going. Might as well buy uh, those two from you as well. Well, he has one of them now. No, but so the, the, buy... big, the big potion and the psychic. Okay. So. Um, how much money do you have left? Uh, that leaves me with 1,052 after. Okay. So. Well, if you tell Desmond as much, then he tells you you're going to be eating those costs, because you mm -hmm. still have more money than him after that. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Uh... And Desmond doesn't have any use for Potion of Psychic Resistance or whatever. Are you sure? <sighs> Well, he doesn't think he does. The DM doesn't have an opinion on this. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Right. <clears throat> okay, well, yeah. you can add a potion of psychic damage resistance to your character sheet, mm -hmm. as well as a potion of supreme healing. If done you have subtracted done. 700 gold. Done and done. Alright. So the exchange is made. Uh, mm. Did you want to buy the regular healing potion as well? Or not? Mm. How much for that regular healing? Uh, she sold him one for 50. So she'll sell you the other one for 50 as well if you want. Sure, why not? We'll save a life if someone's bleeding out. Yep. Alright. Another 50 gold. You can add a regular healing potion. <clears throat> okay. Uh... Well, it was a pleasure doing business with you once again. Mm -hmm. uh, feel free to take a minute, look around. Um, but if that's all, then uh, thank you kindly. Yep. Very well. Mm -hmm. mm. Cool. So you guys exit the shop. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah, I tell... Uh... Ask Desmond, you know, I go, uh, I'm gonna go see if Damien's around yet, or maybe we should give it some more time. Well, unless you got something you gotta do, I kind of figure he's gotta show up sometime, so we could just sit outside his door. I don't actually sleep anymore. Yeah, I'm just trying to kill time. 
Oh, Just thinking, we... uh, you know, we got a big battle coming up probably. And um, if I can yep. find someone who owns some dwarven armor around this city, maybe I could buy it off them. <clears throat> Might be time to buckle up. He shrugs. Well, if I had access to a forge and proper tools, I could probably cut something down to size for you, but it ain't going to be pretty. Oh, you know, city this big. I thought maybe uh, some dwarven armor might make its way here. Figured we could look around. See if anyone knows anybody. You know, just trying to kill time, waiting for Damien. <clears throat> sure, buddy, whatever you want. I mean, it's that, or we could we can go wait for him. I don't care. Um, he... He seems fine to follow your lead if you want to keep shopping around. Um, yeah, I just, uh, you know, ask you guard where the local, or where the closest smith might be. Uh, yeah, uh, over yonder path, you know, he gives you some directions. Yeah, down that road somewhere. Yeah. Down that road, uh, third right on your left. <laughs> and and you guys go to a sir. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I should probably, like, make rolls to see if they have something like that. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be super common, but it's yeah. a large city. I mean, it's a large city. I figured, you know, maybe, maybe a piece here or there. What exactly are you looking for? Uh, if you have an idea, I mean, I don't know. Uh, You're just looking for any sort of thing that would fit a dwarf at all. Yeah, I mean, preferably like dwarven made, you know. But uh, it's not, you know. Maybe it'll be fine. What can you use? Um. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, this place has something. I don't oh, well. know what yet, <laughs> but they yeah. had to roll a 90 or higher, and he has a 94. Wow. So, uh, first place you go to has something. Um, I guess I should roll what he has, mm -hmm. too. Um, I don't, I don't know what you can wear, but I'm going to give priority to lower AC armor. And yeah, the... I mean, I'm looking for, like, maybe some sort of... Special breastplate. Um, I don't know. Uh, isn't it like one? Or is it one? One sixties. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking for, like, uh, like, breastplate or half plate or something. Probably not anything heavy. Still looking for, like, medium armor class. Or medium armor Is, type. Don't you have 15 AC without armor? Yes. So. So you need it to be scale mail or something like that. Uh, no, I think half plate will give... Be it. I think... So if I'm trying to minimize Yeah, I'm saying this. minimum scale mail would be like what you're looking for. Because that would be like one extra AC if you have two decks. Uh, I only have one decks apparently. So. Okay, well then, uh, you it has to it be has half to be plate, half plate or yeah. you you're. Yeah. You're flush or whatever on yeah. exactly. <laughs> and you can't wear heavy armor, right? Exactly. Well, I. Uh, actually, I actually might not be able to at all. No, yeah, I can't at all. So whatever. Yeah. I was just thinking, like, yeah, not not heavy armor because I can't get rage bonus out of it. But. Mhm. Mm well, they, this guy has uh, a set of ringmail that will fit you, but that's heavy. Yep. 
and he also has sh a chain shirt that would fit a dwarf. But he does not have any half plate, like specifically made for mm -hmm. a dwarf. Mm -hmm. He has half plate armor, but it would have to they would have to spend uh, quite a bit of time like trying to right. get it approximate for you. And actually, I mean, that's not a thing anymore, but like in older editions of D&D, &D, like there was specifically dwarven plate and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a specific thing. So you can't even like, you cannot just take like a human set of half plate yeah. and put it on a dwarf. It's just not going to work. Mm -hmm. I mean, I am looking for like, you know, dwarven made. It's kind of the idea. Yeah. I, um. Yeah, when he has, doesn't have anything that I'm uh, exactly looking for, I ask him if he knows of anybody else in town that might have uh, some dwarven made, maybe half plate. Buddy, good luck with that. Well, uh, not I haven't seen a set of dwarven half plate in probably a decade. That stuff is, I mean, you know, you got. The stuff I got here, you know, this chain and uh, this ring mail, it's a little more common. It's uh, easier to make, mm -hmm. easier to approximate. Now, you, you got something like a breastplate or a half plate, that's usually made for somebody, some dwarf. Mm -hmm. And uh, you... got lost or killed or something, sold it because he was down on his luck. Mm -hmm. Well, I ain't seen something like that in a long time. Mm -hmm. I don't know anyone that has something. All right, well, I'm just curious. The more west you go, the more common something that might might be. But no. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'm just curious. <clears throat> just, uh, yeah. You make all this Sorry. yourself? You make all the uh, dwarven size stuff yourself? No. Nope. Oh. I uh, I specialize in human armor. Uh, not surprising. Oh, but, I, uh, I would have been surprised if you did make it yourself. I could make probably if I, you know, had a dwarf that wanted to stand around for a couple hours and. <laughs> right. But uh, no, all this stuff uh, usually finds its way into my hands because somebody's trying to sell it because they don't need it, yep. and uh, then I make a make a pretty good profit off of it for uh, buying a niche item that ain't gonna sell quick in which will. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll leave. Mm hmm. Go. Let's go check out Damien's place. Okay. See how he's doing. Right, right. So you guys make your way there a couple hours later after perusing the town. Make your way all the way back up the tower and knock at the door. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, you hear him say, uh, "Yes, yes, come in." Yeah. Uh, just yes, open the door and go. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, he's sitting at the table. Doesn't seem to. Um... Yeah, I mean, if he knows that you were here before, he doesn't bring it up. Mm. Uh, yeah. I'll just say, uh, "Oh, good. Glad to." Uh... Glad you're back. Uh, glad you're here. Um, yes. So. Uh, trying to remember what we discussed last time he was here. You got some money from him. He kind of chastised you for being shitty subordinates. Did he like? What did you do? You remember what you told him? Like where you're going? Or I'm trying to remember what we discussed. Oh uh, yeah, we uh, well we discussed. Uh, Shield wall and all that stuff, and they told us. Oh, that's Jordan right. Was there, and we were like, "Oh, uh, bye." Did you tell him you were going there? No. Um, I don't think I don't think we did. Okay. But uh, no, yeah, I, I, I'm just uh, yes. well, well. Sure. Well, Welcome well. back. Yep. Well, you, you wanted us to come back and check in with you, so. Well, yeah. Here we are. Good on you. So, uh, 
what brings you back so soon? Well, um... Arush Kegel wants us to... Let Damien you... just fucking takes a seat. Or, Desmond, sorry. Can't move his token there. He's on this <laughs> one. Just sits down. Meh. Sure. Yeah. Kick him back. Um... Yeah, Arush Kegel just uh, wants us to let you know that, uh... She's gonna need to park an army. Uh, outside of which well. Excuse me? Yes. Her army, she wants to put it. Outside of which well. Uh, she has. He stops writing and a good reason. She looks at you this time. She has good reason to need to uh, bring her army this way. Um, and, uh. With how uh, friendly you have been to her <clears throat> and uh, you, the support you've shown for her, she uh, figured it would be you would be understanding if uh, she brought her army this way and you would help her in smoothing it over. He city. pushes his glasses <clears throat> up his face. I'm going to need you to elaborate, Dwarf, on why the Witch Queen wants to send uh, her army to our city. Uh, well, it's not too Witchwell, per se. It's the area. She, uh, she's seeking to protect, uh, protect the area, the region, from the uh, impending doom. Yes, impending doom. I kind of say it lightly, I'm just like... What impending doom? I mean, beside the obvious. Is there something I should know? Is there a threat? To which well? Uh... I am the Archmage of the city. I should know these things. It's a threat to kind of everything. Um, uh, there's this warlock named uh, Xander. Who may yes, be... we, dis we discussed yes. him. Yes. We're still going through the records. I have not found anyone by that name yet, but, huh. well, it's only been a couple of weeks. Yes, yeah. Uh, it's a. Uh, I'm sure it's a mighty task. I don't expect you to find anything in such a short amount of time, but uh, um, she has reason to believe he might be somewhere in the human area, and she's just trying to um, posture and be ready to defend against him. Uh, and what I wonder. Brought her to that conclusion. Why would he be here? Specifically, which well? Um, I just kind of shrug. Uh, you know, that I can't tell you. She's got her own network. Um, she asked Desmond and I to come here and, um, talk with you and. Uh, warn you, I suppose. She knows that you can handle this with the humans, and you know, I'm, I'm sure you can make sure they understand that uh, it is not hostile. He takes like a long breath. Ah. Uh... Well, I'm going to need as much information as possible from you. Mm -hmm. Speak plainly. Give me the situation as you see it, uh, with as much detail as you have. Uh, I will take a moment to peruse this information. So, are you gonna explain? I mean, uh, are you gonna tell him <laughs> everything you know, or are you gonna like leave out information? Or yeah. How do you I mean, I'm gonna tell him. Uh, 
Xander is in the region and a threat, and uh, <clears throat> the elves want to put their military in the region mm -hmm. to uh, help defend as soon as something happens. Um, what that thing is that might happen, we don't know. But, uh, yes, they'll be showing up and staying here. And, uh, Uh, getting getting ready for battle wherever it may be and then they will move to where it is so you you do leave out like oh we went and visited the king yeah I, I don't I don't yeah I don't I don't tell them our suspicions about the king mm -hmm. uh, you don't tell them about Feanir you don't tell yeah. him I don't tell I don't tell him about the constructs mm -hmm. yeah but he already knows that he already knows about the constructs. Mm-hmm. Did he talk to us about them previously? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Damien he's, did. Yes, he did. He brought it to your... He said it to you originally um, that they were. there was lots of... He has noted a lot of movement. Oh. I, I do remember this conversation. It, oh, okay. I, call, I, was, I, I was thinking that was Raceland that... Um, Both of them have noted this and said it to you. Oh, okay. Uh, Damien still has quite an information network, even if it's yeah. not as strong as it used to be. Yeah. I, mean, I guess it, that makes sense. He didn't... I don't think he drew the same conclusions Raceland did about it, mm -hmm. but he has noted it. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. So you maybe don't... I guess maybe Dorsic forgets that he doesn't know about it and doesn't bring it up, um, but... At some point in the conversation, he brings it up again, so then mm -hmm. it becomes obvious he knows. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah, I mean, at that point, I um, agree with him that uh, um, Rush Kegel uh, is uh, probably highly aware of that and uh, is mm -hmm. trying to stop it. Well, that's that's good. I had my concerns about it, but I I didn't quite know what to make of it. Right. I still don't. They're none of us do. They're making moves. I'm not sure what what it amounts to, but they're were were how do I say? Uh, spotting them much more frequently than we did before. Where would we? Where have you been spotting them? Um, mostly human cities. Hmm. Uh, and towns. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Well. Yes. So, uh, I mean, have any been spotted in which well? Yes. Oh, really? How long ago? Uh, he looks at you for a moment. I, I don't need to remind you. The things we talk about in here do not leave this room. Say I wanted to go find this construct. The city is on edge as is. I don't need chaos spreading any further than it already has. Yes, we have spotted them in this city. But they're not... Hmm. They're not actively conniving and trying to murder as they used to. It's almost like they're trying to now leave the city. 
Um, but they are being spotted. Where do you think they're going? I don't know. Hmm. But, uh, given what I know to be true, these creatures have... implemented themselves into all walks of society and they have been murdering subtly in such ways that it makes it very difficult to to catch them yes uh, and now they're not being, yes and now they're not being subtle they're fleeing and uh, in broad daylight in some cases. Now people who don't know what they're looking for might just think it's peculiar. But my eyes know what to look for. These creatures are uh, leaving in droves from the villages and cities and towns that I have eyes on. But I don't know where they're going or why. Hmm. Okay. Well, with that information that you have, have you told the city, the head of the city? The mayor? The baron? The baron. Of course. I keep him up to date on information that he needs to know. <laughs> These creatures are of great concern for all nobility. Mm -hmm. so himself sure, included so surely he would be understanding you told him that Rush Kegel and her army were on the way to stop these constructs surely he could be convinced if I'm convinced I need to know what her real motive is here. Is it to tr truly stop these constructs, or is it something more? Uh, well, it's to stop the constructs and whatever, whatever they're heading towards. Hmm. I mean, are they all headed in the same direction, or to a place? That's a concerning thought. Maybe she I don't know. plans on coming to Witchwell because they're convening here. The queen but, plans on coming here uh, personally? Uh, uh, that I don't know. But <clears throat> she plans on sending her army is the idea. The army will be in the region. Is this a host of Asphodians? Or... Yes. Yes. A very, large, and or? a very large host of um, I assume Elysians and Asphodians uh, Elven kind as, I believe well we do have we do have an alliance all three of us all four hmm. of us really if you count the dwarves uh, so it wouldn't be unheard of if they right. came along but I don't, I'm not 100% uh, certain what her army consists of, but uh, um, hmm. at the very least, the Asphodians, but possibly the Legions as well. I, I doubt she has any humans actually under her command. The humans have been dealing with their own thing, obviously. Yes. And, uh,. I doubt I doubt any dwarves. I haven't seen any dwarves in her army. But I also The dwarves have their trouble. own problems mm -hmm. along with the halflings. Mm -hmm. They're doing what we unfortunately cannot at the moment. Trying to save the little folk from extinction. Mm -hmm. I must say it's from what I hear it's it's hell up there. 
we have our own problems. And if what you say is true, things might just be as bad here. And we just don't notice yet. All right. Well. And so they're going to uh, stay in which well, or they're going to establish base of operations outside the city? What are yes, I believe they're planning to establish their regional operations out of, or just outside of the city. And, well, I have to, I have to ask, why does the queen uh, come to me with this and not the crown? Why wouldn't she want to s establish a shield wall? Says the heart of human civilization. I shrug. Uh, uh I don't know. Um. The, uh, just know that she wants to head to Witchwell instead. Um, she wants to be in the region. Um, so perhaps, uh, the idea for her is to show up in Witchwell, which allows her to reach f south quicker mm. but also the north front line in a short, very short amount of time mm. I don't know well he thinks on this for a few moments I mean perhaps she doesn't want to just pop up in the front lines mm -hmm. he seems skeptical but he also seems like Typical Damien, very nervous. Mm -hmm. Kind of, like, nervous. Um, uh, eventually, he shakes his head. Uh, very well. Uh, I will do what I can um, to convince the Baron that uh, this is a necessity given the nature of the sky and the earthquakes and the recent sightings of these constructs, I doubt he will be in a disagreeable mood. Uh, I'm going to need a number of days uh, to acquire the proper paperwork and such. Um, but mm. yes. Uh, perhaps... Uh, why don't you come back here, let's say, uh, two days hence, and uh, we will speak again. Uh, sure thing. Sure thing. Yes. Can disperse. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Is there anything you want to do between now and that? Because that will flip us to the 27th. Mm. If, um, yeah, if there's nothing else, I will do that. But if there's something you want to do in the two days, or shopping, or anyone you want to go talk to, bother. Right. Maybe you want to go take a, a religious stroll down the witch well, let me know. <laughs> Now oh, there's a quest I've had since day zero. <laughs> Somebody almost took it. Didn't uh, Vahari almost go down there? I think Vahari did go down, but only like a couple of yeah, steps or something. Yeah, yeah. She was like, meh. Fuck that. And the religious zealots were like, no, go down. We've all done it. This is a, <laughs> a great thing. She was like, oh, no. Um, yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think I really have anything, uh, okay. anything to do, so, yeah, fast forward. 
It's the 27th of Moon Harvest. And if there's absolutely nothing you want to do that day, eventually you find your way back to Damien's Tower. Yep. Okay. And we're in the same place we are now. Uh, give the door a, a wrap. Yep. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Come in and yep. stroll on in. Yep. Us again. And he says, ah, well... It's been a busy day, a couple of days. I did manage to convince Baron Grimm that this is the correct course of action. He's not entirely fond of the idea of having Esphodian elves and Elysian elves strolling our cities en masse. But right. given the circumstances, he will allow it for a time um, within reason, of course. Um, they will be uh, well, how how many are we talking here? Thousands? Uh, uh, well, she did not say how many exactly, but, uh, um, maybe all of them. He like kind of coughs up the drink he was. <clears throat> all of them. All of them. Well. <clears throat> If all the uh, constructs are uh, in this region of the world, it's quite possible that uh, we'll find ourselves in the f final battle against this uh, warlock at some point in the region. And they want to be here and ready for it. So I'm sure they'll leave some of the army around to do some fights in other places. I don't, I don't expect you to uh, hold any sway over these elves. However, you should make it known to whoever you communicate with that uh, proper channels must still be consulted. That means... I need to be consulted. The Baron needs to be consulted um, over any specific movements of these said troops on our territories. We are allowing them here, but we must uh, still be uh, consulted about whatever they wish to do here. And discreetly. Well, I do, uh, I do believe that that is the idea. She is trying to ask for permission to be here. And when I say discreetly, uh, that is to say, the public will see these elves in the city, of course. There's hundreds or thousands of them. Uh, that, of course, will raise eyebrows and probably pitchforks. But uh, mm, they, they don't need to know why they're here. That's none of their business. Right. Well, I don't know as... I don't know how many of them will be in the city, but... Well, they'll have to be in the city if they're going to portal here. Right. And they'll in fact, the... make their way out. Our primary portal is... It's within the city. It's a it's a large well you might call you might call it a, a mage's college of sorts. An academics school, a wizarding sorts. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, so that is that is our one and only uh, uh, accessible military portal. 
So they will be entering from there. Arrangements have been made to make this as simple as possible for a large number of individuals. Uh, but they're still going to be coming in one at a time. There's no way around that. So, Right. right. I suppose this will be something that will take some time. Yes. Probably a round-the-clock venture. Probably. 